get a chance to start fresh here on a Wednesday in this 90 degree feels like temperature in uh, in Hammond, Louisiana. Miller Lattisaw off the body of Logan Lejeune at second base. He's going to turn around first and go for two. And with a slide, he's in there. In a big spot here with two down in the second. 1-1. One, one. Driven to deep left center. But that's... He lost it. Misplayed. Yeah, it'll go over his head and over the wall. Wow. A three-run bomb off the bat of Hunter Geezer. And ACU strikes right back. They've got a three-to-one lead. Now he's certainly raised the bar here at ACU. Regular season champs up 3-1, top three, opening round of the Southland Conference Tournament. Eighth-seeded Lamar trying to work their way back. Reese Durand, sophomore from Jasper, Texas. Cuts and misses. Nasty off-speed there from Tyler Morgan. We were talking about all the influences he had, of course. His dad, Randy, and... This one is driven out to left. Long run for McNaughton. It's over his head and off the wall. Grayson Tatro just keeps on rolling. The Southland Conference Newcomer of the Year with a stand-up one-out double here in the third. For Trevin Michael, the way this ACU offense is, and he's got to put a zero here. Oh, no. And it gets right through the wickets of Snell. And coming in to score is Tatro. It's 4-1 system and has really kind of scuffled to, and fought his way since. Miller Lattisaw is now two for two. Laces that one in the center and it's bobbled by Cole Girard. They'll wave around Tommy Cruz and he'll score. ACU doing it on the, on the base pads again. Tyler Morgan trying to work his way out of trouble. Got two quick outs and loaded up the bases. And now a payoff with two down. Got him looking. Wow, what a great, what a great pitch and a big moment. And Tyler Morgan, he knew he had to. Don't want to give these big boppers any extra at bats for ACU. That's drilled to left. McNaughton to the wall and off the scoreboard and gone. How about a multi-home run game for Hunter Geezer? Two no-doubt jacks. And ACU extends its lead 6-1 to one in the sixth. Two. One one to short could be two. There's one the turn from Hammett in plenty of time. Six four three it goes Randall Hammett geezer sub 300. Huffling looking in for what he wants. Two on and one down in the eighth. Ripped oh, right uh, to short. Oh, oh, what a play. Oh, Randall <laughs> with a sensational double play. That was amazing. The freshman flashes the leather and gets ECU out of the eighth. That is sensational. I mean, you talk about HWA, how to win awareness right here. Come up and then with backwards flip, not looking, might have got the benefit of the call. And an it, and an it. Well, they are taking a look at the inning-ending double play on the sensational grab by Bash Randall and then the flip on to second base. And there is the review process. Ron, you want to take us through how it works? Yeah, so right here, this is being called from the coaches on the field. And, yeah, he's going to be safe and he'll be back. Let me read you the rules here. Reviewable calls. Crew chief also may initiate the review at his discretion any time during the game or a team may use head coach challenges anytime during the game as well you could get two per game 
There's fair foul calls, potential home run calls, catch plays in the outfield, catch plays in the infield, spectator interference, and scoring plays at home plate, as well as force tag play calls and things like that. So this is the review. I, I got to imagine it's going to be a, a pretty quick one because, I mean, on our replay, you could see he was back safely, uh, no doubt. Yeah, it looked like he had the hand in there in time hand chest everything <laughs> but i mean you over the base i mean I, I think it was a situation where the the, the uh, umpire got caught up in the in the momentum of the mo i mean it was a fantastic play and i will i will say hammett barehanding that ball at second helped it because he didn't have to wait for the ball to get into the glove sure baseball is a game of inches that play right there proved it because that ball was headed into the gap in left center if he doesn't catch it and McNaughton swings the first pitch into left for Lanisaw. Middle of the eighth. Max Huffling doing a nice job in relief. ACU still up five. Hunter Geezer, two for three with a pair of home runs. And he hits this one a Baby. mile out to center. Back at the track to the wall, and it is off the glove of Gerard in center. Around third to score comes Kazarine. It's an RBI double off the bat of Geezer, and he just keeps on raking here in the opening round. He's driven in five. That's his 12th double of the year. Right here, he thinks maybe, and we think maybe. Wind's blowing out, even the center gets a little help and almost a fantastic catch, but it doesn't get made. And Hunter Geezer, who came in with the lowest batting average of the nine starters on, on ACU's team, has had a ginormous day. They're trying to string together a rally in the ninth. Down six runs to top seed at ACU. Carlton's 2-2. Hit Sharplet is short. Could be two. The flip one and the turn from Hammett in time. Just what the doctor ordered for Carlton. one -oh. To short. Bash Randall. Dug out at first base by Geezer. Ball game over, and top-seeded ECU moves on to the second round. They get their first Southland Conference Tournament victory as a Division I school.